Good morning and welcome to this month's Oak Crest Insight, everyone. So, I hope everyone is having a good start to their summer and you've got a bunch of plans that you want to do this year. Today, I want to update you briefly on why investors, maybe you are in this category, are being pleasantly surprised with the upturn in the market for the year so far. The last few months, we've had a lot of headwinds for the markets, and we could probably say this for the last year too. But this includes stubbornly high inflation, the threat of an economic recession brought on by higher interest rates the last year, and political turmoil regarding the debt ceiling. Now, with all these negative headlines, and the headline that earnings in the S&P 500 is forecasted to contract this year, markets are shaking all of this off, right? As most of the market indices we watch and track are positive for the year so far. So Ryan, why is this? Well, primarily in our view, it's expectations in the future of the Fed's policy in regards to interest rates driving this. So here's another potential rate hike coming, but as of June 2nd, the Fed funds rate futures indicated that a rate cut could occur as soon as September. Secondly, inflation in May was 4.9%. This continues to be stubborn and remain higher than the Fed wants, but the markets see it moving downward as a positive sign. Next, and maybe most importantly, is the jobs market. Consumer spending continued to increase last month. And also last month, the unemployment rate stood at a 53-year low. Lastly, AI intervention and expectations on how this could integrate into our workforce to make production more efficient has driven tech stocks up and started recovering from last year's sell-off. So with all of this stuff I just talked about, you would expect maybe investors to be very excited about the future. However, short term, our, and how our economy reacts this summer to the rising interest rates the past year is what's the unknown factor. So we know there's always unknowns in our economy. We just went through that with our debt ceiling. But our collaboration with you is to make sure we keep you updated on what's noise and what actually could have an impact on your retirement assets. So next week, I'm at a meeting all week with my study group, about 30 of us, our peers. We bring in economists and managers and talk about what could happen the rest of the year going forward. So I'm gonna keep you posted as we get a lot of information from that meeting and what we discuss. So we look forward to seeing you next month on Oak Crest Insight.